The Giants have announced an interview for their head coaching position. Chris Richard, who should be pretty familiar to Giant fans, he's been the passing game coordinator and the secondary coach for the Dallas Cowboys the last couple of years. Took over play calling on the defensive side of the ball for Rod Marinelli the last couple of years as well. And he's one of the interviews, Paul, for the Giants head coaching position on the defensive side of the ball. A younger guy, just 40 years old, former defensive back, played in the NFL in the early 2000s. And he's someone that has a lot of experience playing against this Giants team in the division. Yeah, there's no doubt about that, John. He really made his name, though, and his mark in the NFL with Seattle, a team that he played for. You mentioned he was a corner when he came out of school, played for three years with the Seattle Seahawks, which later on he wound up being in their secondary as their secondary coach. He was the coordinator back there with the corners and the Legion of Boom. He's the guy who orchestrated that entire concept of big hitters in the secondary. Yeah, he was their defensive backs coach. He came there with Pete Carroll. Believe it or not, despite the fact he was a former player for Seattle, he joined Pete Carroll as a graduate assistant in USC right. and then came with him to Seattle. He was a secondary coach for a while. Then when they lost their defensive coordinator, uh, he went and got a head coaching job. He became their DC from 2015 to 2017. So, Paul, you hit it. He's a secondary oriented guy and we'll get to the other parts of his defense in a second but he likes big cornerbacks long lengthy guys mm -hmm. and he is a heavy cover three zone defense defensive backfield coach this year for the Dallas Cowboys they played 47 percent of their coverages were cover three that's a very high percentage. So he plays that Seahawks-style system when he arranges his coverage in the defensive backfield. Of course, the question would be when he gets here, if he in fact turns out to be the guy who wins the job, how will he mesh with whoever the coordinator will be and what kind of adjustments would he have to make with that coordinator? Because a lot of times what happens is when you see a guy who's a position coach or a coordinator, a lot of what they're doing is influenced by their head guy. It may not be exactly what he wants to do. Well, right, and I I mentioned the fact that he's technically not the Cowboys' defensive coordinator the last right. couple of years. Rod right. Marinelli is, and he's obviously a classic 4 Heavy three blitz guy. guy, too. Well, here's the thing. This year, the Cowboys' blitz percentage went way down. It did. They were only 28th in blitz percentage this year, and he was their play caller on defense. Marinelli pass that over to him on game day. So he was not a heavy blitz guy this year. Now, a lot of that has to do with the fact that the Cowboys invested heavily in defensive linemen that should be able to win one-on-one -on -one yes. to get after the quarterback. Robert Quinn, Demarcus Lawrence, Michael Bennett in a trade, Malik Collins. So he probably didn't feel like he had to blitz. They did blitz more in 2018 a lot than more. they did this season. So you wonder... If he's married to a 4-3-3-4, four, three, three, four, because again, he's more of a secondary guy, that's something I think would depend on who the defensive coordinator would be and who would mm -hmm. run the defense for him. But this year, he did not blitz a lot. Big time zone guy, likes long, lengthy cornerbacks. And the other thing I'll throw out there, too, from a statistic point of view, Paul, they did not get, unlike those Seattle defenses he had, the Cowboys did not get a lot of takeaways the last couple of seasons. That is That's true. That's something the defense did struggle with. This year, in terms of takeaways, just 17, only seven interceptions this year and 10 fumble recoveries. The point to be made, like you said before, how they reduced their blitz packages this year. Marinelli was always known for his extensive blitz packages. And now that they have cut back, you wonder, where was the influence there? Is that something that Rashard particularly wanted to get away from and then was allowed to do so this year. You are definitely right, though, about the takeaways going down. You wonder if that also has something to do with the fact that they didn't send more pressure. Well, and you watch the way they play. The Cowboys, the way their defensive backs generally play, the way they work their scheme, they're not keeping their eye on the quarterback as much. They generally have their back turned to the quarterback, and they're doing more of that face-guarding technique, which, by the way, if you don't make contact with the opposing wide receiver, it's legal. It's not defensive <laughs> pass interference. But if you watch Byron Jones and uh, Chidobe Awuzie and those guys, they generally tend to blanket the wide receiver, try to get their head around very late in the process to knock the ball away. That's why they don't get a lot of those interceptions. We should also mention, by the way, he also spent a couple of years playing with the San Francisco 49ers. So did have five years of playing experience in the NFL before he entered the coaching ranks. And he was on the coaching circuit last year. He was rumored to be interviewed for jobs last year with various teams throughout the league. So he's somebody that has been highly sought after. Overall, by the way, the Cowboys were a top 10 defense this year. They're around eight or nine in most statistical categories. Same deal last year. So that's kind of where they landed. If you look at some of the advanced numbers, they have those DVOA stats. They were a little bit lower, closer between 15 and 20 the last couple of years. So... That's your thumbnail on Chris Richard, one of the player, one of the coaches, rather, that'll interview for the Giants' head coaching position this 
offseason. For Paul Dottino, I'm John Schmunk. Thanks for being with us. Stay tuned to Giants.com as the Giants coaching search continues. Hey, Giants fans. Saquon Barkley here. You want to see more videos? Subscribe below.